Ciao friends! Beth with Thimblehooks. Thanks for stopping by. Today's project is just a tiny little quick stash buster for the holiday season. This is my little ornament gift card holder pouch. Little gift card pouch. Doesn't take very long to make these. It's really really fun, really really simple. You can use any remnants that you have like this one I did two colors. This one is all pink. This one is red and silver. You really can make this any way you want. I hope you're enjoying my video and my channel. If so, please click that button to subscribe. Thanks! So we'll start with the magic circle. If you don't know a magic circle, if you're not familiar, I have a very quick tutorial about that. Teach you how to do it the easy way. Just make an X here, flip over, go under the front one, grab the back one, turn towards you, and then grab the other side. Very, very, very easy. All right, so what I'm going to do here is a chain one. That does not count. So in our magic circle, I want to put 16, you can see it, 16 double crochets. Remember that chain one didn't count. So here's number one. And I'm going to mark it. So I like to do that. I love my stitch markers. And now we want to do a total of 16. and 16. 16 double crochets in my magic circle. And now the magic part of your magic circle is take this little end and pull tight. And now you have no space in the middle. Love it. So then we slip stitch into our marked stitch. So in the same spot that is marked with our stitch marker right now that we just did our slip stitch, I want to do a three yarn over puff. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through again, and yarn over and pull through for the third time. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through everything, and chain to close. Do that one more time. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through, yarn over, and pull through three times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through everything, and chain one to close. Do that in every stitch that we have, all the way around. And here's my last puff in my last space. One, yarn over two, yarn over three, pull through, and you still want your chain one to close. You should have 16 puffs. And now right here, we don't want to slip stitch into this puff. We want to go right over here in between puff number one and number two with a slip stitch. Now we finish round two. There's only three in the colorfulness, so we're almost done. It is a little bit of a twist on a sunburst granny square. Just a little tiny bit different than a sunburst. So if you're familiar with the sunburst, you probably know what's coming next. We're going to chain one, but in this space, normally it would be four, but we're going to do three double crochet cluster. So you yarn over, pull through, pull through two, don't finish that stitch. Yarn over, pull through two again, and yarn over, pull through two one more time. So we have four loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through everything. Chain one to close and one more chain. So normally for a the sunburst granny, this is a four double crochet cluster. But I'm doing a three because it just kept it nice and round for me. I thought it looked better when we're not turning it into a square. So let's do that one more time. You yarn over to the in between the next two puffs. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Don't finish your stitches yet. And for the third time, pull through two. Four loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through everything. Chain one to close and another chain four in between. Do that again. So we're going to yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Oopsie, I'm going to do that one over again. That got really loose on me. There we go. 
and I'm using a 5 millimeter hook. Whatever is recommended with your yarn will work just fine. I used a 5 with all of these, even though this was a bulky, bulkier yarn, I still used a 5 because I wanted them all to be kind of the same size, but they're a little bit different. But I used a 5 with all of those so you can see about what they're going to look like. Pull through all four and chain two. All the way around. And here I am on my last one, going in between my last two puffs. Here I'm going to pull through two, once, twice, and three times. Pull through all four loops, chain two, and then on this one to finish off this row, in between our cluster number one and cluster number two, just do a slip stitch. And now you can finish that off. Snip. So there's our little circle. And then voila! Make two. Make another one looks just like it. Or if you want it to be creative like this. I made them two different colors. Either way will work just fine. So we want to sandwich these together. I like to put the ends together. This is where we finished off. And the wrong sides to the inside. The initial tails here are way too long, so I'm going to snip those off right now. You can weave those in in a little while, but I just don't need them to be this darn long. That's too crazy. Crazy long. So I have those lined up again. Those are where my ends were. Those are lined up. Pick a spot on the front one only. All right, on the front one only for this stitch we're going to fasten on our new yarn and do one single crochet in that chain two space. And then in the next chain two space want three single crochets. One, two, and three. Now we want to sandwich these back together again. This time we're going to start going through both. So we'll go through this side and through the other side and again three single crochets. One in that chain space. There's one. There's number two. And there's number three. And you want to, so remember these ones were not connected up here. The first one and second one were not connected, but now these two are connected to each other. We want to do that for 12 chain spaces total. So we just link these together with one chain space. So now we're going to go to the next chain space and go through both circles with three single crochets. One, two, and three. For our second time, and there's the third one. One, two, and three through both circles. That part we want to do 12 times. And I will meet you right about here. Right over here in just a minute. And here is my last piece that's going to go through both sides. One single crochet, two single crochet, and three. And now on these ones we have not done anything to yet. We want to go on the front circle only, so do not go through this one. Front, the front panel only. Three single crochets. One, two, and three. And the next one also. One, two, and three. And then we're back to our very first chain space where we started to put our edging on and we only did one single crochet. So to finish this, to make it seem like all the rest of them, I want to put in two single crochets also into that same chain space. So all of them have three now and a slip stitch into our very first single crochet. Now we just have to make the little top. 
very easy. And since we're all linked together, we completed our circle, we don't have to finish this off. That's why I had you start with a one single crochet and then we finished this one off because now we're going to chain one and turn and single crochet for six of these stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Chain one, turn our work and do that one more time. So this is our second row of six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Chain one and do that one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, chain one, turn our work, and on all of these I've been doing four high, so this is our fourth row. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So there's my four rows of six single crochets. Chain one, turn in between just to make this tippy top right here of your ornament. Some of these will curl a little bit, some won't, but in order to get that to, because this one was really curly until I did this. Now I want to chain one, turn our work, and slip stitch to all six of those. Just do a slip stitch, it makes a nice edge, gives it a little bit more strength. And if you have any curling, the curling will most likely go away. Fasten off, weave in your ends, and you are done. I think this one's my favorite because you know how much I love pink. See, it goes right in there. Makes your gift cards a little even more giftable. They just have a little pouch. They're really cute that way. I think they look cute. It's the kind of thing that I do for my kids. We put them in their Christmas stocking and they don't know what's inside but they know there's going to be something fun because it's very tiny and it holds a card. So they know it's going to be a favorite store somewhere. So thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimblehooks and stop back soon. You can make a bunch of these and have Christmas totally covered. Thanks. Bye.